the artists were terrific and their talent is, is really amazing. The costumes were really beautiful and the colors were very vibrant. There's a, there's a, a celestial presence in all of it. It's just there's a, the uh, dancing is otherworldly. Mark Crossan was the founder and CEO of Amrion. In March, he and other patrons attended Shen Yun Performing Arts at the Buell Theater in Denver. I really honor it and admire what you're doing and what they're doing. So, But the presentation itself is sort of an expression, in my opinion, of uh, all that's good about the um, Chinese culture and performance and the people of China that's not being properly represented in the world. So this is the most beautiful presentation I've seen. Oh, fantastic. They're incredible athletes, and I appreciate the, the, the you know, the, the strength of the athletes and, and, you know, the dedication of years of dedication of practicing their art. Shen Yun's mission is to revive genuine traditional Chinese culture. Mark Gilman finally saw the performance after waiting for two years. I like... Yeah, the performance and the message that it sends out and to let people know throughout the world, you know, the, the impacts of uh, things that are going on. Woven in with storytelling and art and, and the, the pantomime, the melodramatics of the dancers and everything just really brought so much of it to life. Since 1949, the Chinese Communist Party has been eradicating China's spiritual culture and freedom of belief, and as such, Shen Yun cannot perform in China. Two of the story dances depict the Chinese regime's persecution of Falun Gong, a peaceful meditation practice in the Buddhist tradition. I've heard about the pillars of that, that it's you know, compassion or honesty and tolerance and a meditative practice. I think that's what China needs more than anything today. So to stand up against that oppression is beautiful and powerful and courageous. I know that the government is suppressive, but I don't think that the people themselves feel that way. I've been there, I've been there and they don't seem to believe that as a people, but the government, of course, controls a lot of things, so I suspect that that's what they project to the world. Audience members also shared about the themes of deep spirituality. If you believe in a higher being, then this is a very, very important work uh, because it, um, it illustrates that there is a higher being and it isn't necessarily any particular religion, but it sort of fits with most religions. It's depicting life in another realm, uh, a realm of beauty and strength and virtue and all the things that I think every culture in the world would like to um, uh, epitomize. NCD News, Denver, Colorado.